How are we doing? Um, by now, uh, we should have released ooh, four blocking videos, I think. Down block, upper block, chop punch, and middle block. Um, and as promised, I will do a video for our weapons guys. Now, we run weapons once a week. Uh, we did three months of nunchuck when we started. We did three months of katana, or bokken, yeah, wooden sword. Um, and then we had some lockdown time. That was uh, rubbish. <laughs> Came back out of lockdown, did some refresher classes. I think we were about five of them. And then we managed to squeeze in our first staff lesson before lockdown two, the sequel appeared. That sucked, uh, which is what we're in now, obviously. Um, our guys, you know, this is quite big. Um, six foot bow, because I'm an adult. Um, but our guys, most of them are kind of in the 10 to 13 year age bracket ish. Um, I've got four foot Joe staffs, a bit more handle, much lighter as well. Um, but I did say I'd do a couple of drills with them. Um, or for them, should say, and a little reminder. Now, I do have to be really careful in here because obviously, a six foot bow, <laughs> very easy to prod something, the bag over there as well, um, with this when you're moving it around. And as well, we do not have the greatest of ceiling heights. So, you can hear that. That is, we have a strip lighting in here, which you can probably see over there. In the background, okay, with like perspex covers on. So if you hear something go thud, bang, crash, clatter, that's going to hit the lights. <laughs> Which I'm going to try not to do. I'm going to go nice and slow, okay. So the the bits we did the other day, or you know when we got into uh, doing the bow stuff stuff, it was just like handling drills is the best way I can kind of uh, explain it. So one of the things we uh, started with is what's called hand, like how we operate hands if we just want to change over. Okay, so I'm gonna do that first as a reminder. Okay, so what, when you basically hold said staff, I'm gonna do it about there, I think, so you can see my hands. Um, basic sort of loose, gentle kind of back stance-ish, you know, it's a, it's a rough guard, um, soft knees. Staff goes kind of rear end of the staff, sits at the top of your leg, kind of on your hip, or top of your thigh muscle. Um, Bottom hand, stomach height, front hand out in front. You do notice this is not that dissimilar, not really, to a basic guard. Now I know we have pattern guard here, okay? And we have, for us, we have a, a quite a, a slightly higher uh, standing guard. We don't, we don't guard like this, not for us, okay? We want to be here, so we can, we have obviously jab across for our sparring stuff, for our hands up for our free self, protect our jaw and our chin rather than a, like a very traditional kind of stance, yeah? But you notice that this is quite similar to that slightly lower handed guard. When we're holding, thumbs point the way we're going. Now I know I've said that, okay? But look at my hands, okay? My thumbs point the way I'm going, but they are fists, yeah? We are holding on. I'm not holding it like that. That's just weird, okay? <laughs> but so we stop, it stops people doing this or that or this, <laughs> yeah, or make, making stuff up, okay? Thumbs pointing the way you're going, nice face, nice grip, okay? Roughly equal length, front and back, yeah? We're not holding like a massive sword, okay? And we're not holding it at the top end, like we're gonna be rowing a gondola, yeah? <laughs> okay, and the first, let me move my <laughs> The first we'll do with the changeovers, okay? Now it doesn't matter if you do this walking, or you do it on the spot, on the dance box, I haven't got space to do the walk. Okay, but when we change over, okay, all we're doing is rotating our hands. Okay, so we've got one road, so one starts to push, my hand is still in contact with the stick, staff, sorry, <laughs> stick. Okay, when it comes round, and then once I've got grip with here, that one does the roll. All I'm doing is rolling at the wrist and the hands. Okay, it means that all the time I have contact. Okay, so from here, when it comes around, I've never let go with either hand, not really. Okay, now obviously you can hear me, the clicker, that's my wedding ring banging on the stick. Yeah, but literally, push, pull, you all know that from the, our basics. Okay, it's what we're after, okay? All we do is we're gonna push forwards on the front, roll, roll, roll. As soon as I've got a bit of grip, I'm gonna push forwards with the other. And then I'm back to this grip. I'm still thumbs pointing the way I'm going. 
okay? But I'm in contact with the stick. I'm not going push, let go, roll, grab. Yeah, I'm not trying to go off and come on again. Yeah, because it means as soon as my hand comes away from the staff, I have half the control. And it, it's it probably even less because it's at the back. Yeah. <laughs> I want to be able to control both hands all the time. Okay, the only time I want my hands to come off of the staff is if I'm deliberately going to change grip. Okay, which we did the other day. Okay, so when we're talking about here, one, two, off, and then we're saying hold, long strike. Yeah, things like that as an example. Okay, so if you want range, big weapon, okay. You can. So we said the drill like roll, roll, and then up to the side and over the top. Boom. Okay? And then you have same grip we had in the middle. Okay, down at the end when you want a ranged strike. Okay. So again, I'm gonna have to go really slow in here because the lights and ceilings and stuff. Okay, the drills that we're doing are things like one, two, change grip, round, bam. Okay, downside <laughs> hoodie there, getting stuck in pockets. Okay. Okay, we also did a turning strike. Okay, so one, two, step in here, bam, and then round and low for a lecture. Okay, we did a nice low sweeping swing as well. One thing I don't want my guys to do, like, so depending on uh, where you learn stuff, how you learn stuff, like I said, these are all just, they're all going to be basics, yeah? Like I say, it's not a gradable system for what we're doing. If you obviously go down the route of looking at, uh, uh, say, Kung Fu, Staff and Spear, uh, you notice it's a lot bendier. Yeah, these are solid, solid. You watch them bend and swing. You also watch them bang at the floor a lot. Okay? It's not something we're going to be doing. Um, but if you want, again, additional learning, okay, YouTube is your friend. <laughs> there are some stunning Kung Fu staff patterns and exhibitions and inspired stuff out there to see. They are phenomenal, okay? But I want my guys to get the idea of it being sturdy, striking, okay, kind of weapon. Um, and it's just basic techniques, okay? So, from what we did the other day, we did, let's say, we did those changeovers, okay? We did the overhead strike with a change of grip, and then we also did a low swinging to the legs business. Lovely, okay? The one that you're gonna move on to is, again, still a grip changeover, but rather than it coming over here, okay, you're coming from the back, which we kind of did, okay? But it comes across the center, okay? So we're gonna go from here, we change our grip, and it's a lateral across the middle. Then when it comes back, it goes change from here, thumbs are pointing towards, bone in the minute, here. Okay, so change, push, change, push, change, push, change, push, okay? But at the end of strike, okay, my thumbs will still be going as if they're gonna point up the staff. Okay, I know we hold, but they're there. Okay, so when we change over, okay, here. Let me see that. Okay, they always point the way you're going. So the point where you end our strikes, that's all we're going to be doing. Okay, we want to go, we want our hands to be pointing the way that the staff is pointing. Okay. We don't want to be ending up like this, okay, where our thumbs point towards each other, because it means I haven't got the extension. I've only got that. If I'm here, I have more because I can throw my shoulders better. Yeah, that's yeah, it, that's restrictive. That is not. Yeah, that's why it gives you range. A staff is a ranged weapon, so we want to have as much range as possible. <laughs> OK, 
okay? It's awkward if you end up with thumbs facing backwards unless for a very specific reason, okay? So unless you know that at the end of a strike you're here and you've got thumbs back, that you're gonna reverse for a strike, so be it. But even then, you would change on your way round, okay? Just saying, okay? At the end of each strike, no matter what it is, okay, you would, yeah, be pointing the way you wanna go. For what we're gonna be doing, okay? I want you to have as much range, also as much control as possible, okay? We had lots of people on lesson one when we were doing these changeovers, okay? Not changing their hands quick enough, or going off the stick on the stick. They're doing that, <laughs> okay? And, oh, yeah. As soon as you relinquish control, you have exactly that. Less control, less grip, you can't move it. Stuff's clattering on the floor. Okay. That happens a lot, okay? You always want to be in contact with the staff for as much time as possible. And like I say, if you're gonna change grip and actually grab something else, your change has got to be at a point where you have good contact, okay? If I'm trying to change a hand position, okay, and do the rotation at the same time, yeah, that's a recipe for getting the staff just jabbing in the foot. Okay, I want to be around and held at the point where I change. Okay, so for guys that were doing the uh, the two rolls and then the staff grip change, I say being conscious of lights. Okay, it rolls and then change. Okay, I don't want to try and go roll at the same time. Yeah, and then having pretty much no grip on it at all. Okay. Stuff guys, that's your bit, okay? You can continue with the rollovers, get them looking smooth and slick, okay? I just want you to roll them in and do side to sides, okay? But I still need you to roll your hands, pointing where you're going. You can still work that grip change over, your down strike. Uh, you also notice the uh, spinning long sweep, you can go for that as well as if you want to do that reverse turn, you're gonna roll into it, you can go from your guard, Step and roll, and then when you turn, same way you do like a turn back kick or the turn in dosan, the spinny bit, um, more than same footwork, okay? You've got to roll your hands on the way around, yeah? So if you want that extra bit, that's extra bit. If you want to do a bit of stuff, stuff at home. Have fun, keep practicing, do stuff.